Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. We're going to take a look at debugging Spring Boot auto configuration. When Spring, Spring Boot starts up, as we know, it's going to go out and do a lot of sensible defaults for us based on what it finds on the class path. But there's actually a lot going on under the covers there, and sometimes it's easy to get, get confused and not really see what it's doing. Uh, there's a very simple way that we can take a look uh, and peek under the covers to see what Spring Boot is doing for us in its auto configuration. So to do that, we can pass a debug parameter and I'm in IntelliJ now and what we want to do is come up here and go to edit configurations and we can pass in arguments when IntelliJ runs Spring Boot so I'm gonna say debug here say OK and then I'm gonna run it and this will enable debug output of the Spring Boot auto configuration And we see that Spring Boot has started up now. And I'm going to scroll up here. And this is all the auto configuration da data. So we get a, a report out of Spring Boot to the console. So you can see auto configuration report and then the positive matches. And this is the stuff that Spring Boot is going to be setting up for us. So I have a web application here. I've got H2 installed and Spring Data. So it's going to configure all, all that stuff. I've got time leaf on my class path that's going to be configuring that. So that there's a variety of things. So like uh, here you can see how it set up the H2 database console for my application. Now scrolling through this report you can see that Spring Boot is actually doing quite a bit for us in cr configuring the Spring environment. Everything from transaction ma managers, Hibernate, the web MVC stuff and then we get into a section of report for negative matches where it did not find things and this could be handy when you're trying to find out why it didn't uh, match something up and it could just be simply that it wasn't on your class path and so you can see that there's actually a lot of, a lot of things within Spring Boot that it's going to be looking for as I scroll down through this and it also shows that I didn't have any any exclusions then some unconditional classes down at the bottom, then we get back to the normal uh, log output. So th this is a very handy way to see what's going on under the covers in Spring Boot. If you ever need to trou troubleshoot the auto configuration, you just pass a simple debug flag and you'll get this auto configuration port printed out to the console upon startup.